Kyle Lowry and Serge Ibaka are back with the Toronto Raptors. Serge Ibaka signed for three years, 65 million, and Kyle Lowry signed off for three years and 100 million. So my question is, is there still a culture change in the Toronto Raptors organization that Masai technically promised? Because PJ Tucker left to Houston, and we don't have Patrick Patterson anymore. I don't think it's done. I don't think they're done yet in terms of um, creating that shift in terms of the culture. Uh, I, think, I think he would make another move in terms of, I think it would be JV that's next in terms of his contract. I think he's on the go. I think he, they can find a home for him. Just because the way they play doesn't really fit him. I think Ibaka fits more of the style of play that the Raptors yeah. play right now. And I think the coaching, something's got to change with the coaching. And I think Masai points. I think he would do something about it. Uh, but the thing is, I feel like Masai, Masai has said before that he, he is going to stick by Dwayne Casey. But in my, in my opinion as well, I don't, I'm not, I don't prefer Dwayne Casey as uh, our coach in the whatever culture change we have. But, uh, and yeah, there is rumors about Jonas Valanciunas. And also, Corey Joseph is leaving. Yeah, they're, I think they're shopping him too, right? Yeah. But for the culture change thing, I think it's like, when you say culture change, don't you, like, usually just change the coach and change the, you know what I mean? The style of the play. The style of play. So, how, like, Dwayne Casey's been preaching uh, Pound the Rock since he's been here. Day right? one. That since rock is one. gone. It's, <laughs> not, <laughs> it's, still, we don't, it's we not Pound it, the it Rock anymore. It doesn't move <laughs> just because the way the, the way their best player plays. It's, it's you know. Yeah, absolutely. It, the way most teams... Okay, good average or good teams play through how their best player play, but great teams play through how a system is played. Like if you watch the Warriors play, it it's you know just because um, they have such good players, it's not much it's about system. it. It's the system that they run. It's because everyone in the team knows exactly how the offense is run and how they operate defensively as well. It's the same with the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah. That's why it doesn't matter who really plays in their team. Because they just have to find the people that can do those little things that they, they ask in the system. And they just play the role and they're done. Yeah. But the way, you know, decent or not, you know, championship level teams play, they play through their best player, just plays the way they play. And then everyone plays around them. And I think that's what's happening in Toronto. That's the dilemma yeah. that they have. Because they have Lowry and, and DeRozan that plays Rosen. great. They're great players. But the offense, everything revolves around how they play. Yeah, it's stagnant. It's, it's just yeah, and the thing is pure they iso ball. It's that's pure it. ice. They're great isolation players. But not everyone can play that way. You can't sustain that, that for like an entire season. Exactly. Somebody right? will go down and it's like, what are you going to do next, right? And they even put like different assistant coaches for like Casey. For this one, this coach is like good for defense. This one's going to take care of the offense. And it's same thing. But the irony is that Dwayne Casey is actually just a defensive coach. He's not really good at his offensive plans. Yeah. He looks like... His usually, playbook is just simple, man. <laughs> have you seen timeouts where it's like they have a, a last minute play... He's not drawing off. He's looking towards his assistant coaches and saying, oh, what? okay, what should we do on the offense? Who should we give the ball to? What, what can we do to get this game winner, basically? He's not, he's not really a, a good offensive coach. Um, hopefully something changes, or it, unless it changes his mindset about this whole situation. If they were to keep him, I would say if he's willing to you know, take some ego prior to side, be an assist, defensive assistant coach for, be the defensive coach for the team, but have someone really that knows you know, more about, you know, like how a, to run like an a offense. Legit offense. A legit offense. A legit coach, right? That's what I've been saying. David Blatt could be, is a good candidate because David Blatt was a good coach when they had him yeah. in Cav uh, in Cleveland. Um, he could, you know, he could come in and really set up an offense that, you know, if you've seen how he coaches, you know, the Cleveland and the team in Europe uh, that he had in Europe, great basketball. They won. They won. Like they, you know, he was a good coach. I'm saying if they want to keep him, Keep him as a defensive specialist. Yeah, that's it's how, a, you know. That's Put it. the ego aside and just... Because yeah. that was his perfect spot. He won a championship with Dallas to be a yeah. def as a defensive assistant it, coach. Exactly. That's what, you know, and, and they were a good defensive team. If you watch the Raptors, they were a good defensive team uh, throughout the, the, the regular season. Um, Postseason-wise, it's, you know... Yeah. It's not there. It's not there. They were, like, hovering around the top 10. They'd, like, yeah. go in and out of the top 10 for exactly. defense. And speaking of the, you know, pickups, we still have yet to see if the Raptors are that... Second best team. I know we talked about the Boston Boston team, but we still have yet to see a full season with Demar, Kyle, and Ibaka, and whoever we re-sign or pick up in the off season. Uh, we still have yet to see if this big three is capable of getting to Cleveland. If, and on paper, do you guys think they have that chance if they have that full season run? Not really, man. <laughs> 
Cleveland's I, too much of a beast. Just because I mean, they, yeah. they still LeBron, have LeBron. Yeah. LeBron, right? At this point, they 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 still have to get over Boston. Like that's still yeah. like if you you know, I think Boston has better pieces around their stars as opposed to Raptors. Like you know, uh, Raptors. If you know, Ibaka gets a chance to you know get accustomed to how because he fits better uh, for DeRozan and Lowry because his pick and pop game is pretty nice. Yeah, you see him pick and pop; it gives them so much space in the lane to drive. Whereas JV is a pick and roll game. Pick and roll game for you know Demar and Lowry is not as you know it's effective in a sense, but it's not. It doesn't give them enough space in the lane it's, to drive. Yeah, it's it's better if uh, Ibaka actually plays the center and exactly. then just. Probably ship out because JV. he gives them so much space. If you have, if you have two one on one isolation players, and you have JV in the middle, like they're clogging the lane, they can't get as much you know spaces in the lane to drive and do their thing, which is kind of, you know which is a kind of blessing in disguise with Ibaka, which yeah. he does really well space out the floor. And they need like more people around them now. They lost uh, Tucker, which they want to bring back. Yeah, yeah. and he he got like a. Like a cheaper deal for Houston. Uh, not a bad Houston. deal, but obviously he's he's playing for an actual yeah, contender. Yeah, and obviously they wanted to try to get Patrick Patterson just because PJ Tucker left, but you know obviously Patrick Patterson went over over to OKC, so that's a that's a bummer. So we just, we have we're, we're down to whatever Masai picks up for our bench because I feel like our bench is still weak, our small forward power forward is still weak. And we still need it. Well, we we have to wait and see because the off season, the free agency is pretty long. Yeah. So I have high hopes for OG man. I was like, yeah. I, I hope he like pans out. Col- I mean, culture change. I just want to see their their bench get a bit get restarted in a sense. Like if they're gonna move Kojo, if they're gonna move Valanciunas or Demar Keller, please do. But have you know have you know it's gonna give them a, a, be- a better kind of refresh in terms of because if they want a culture change, yeah, keep your core but surrounded with different, you know, yeah, different, different pieces. pieces. Exactly.